and subscribe welcome back to my channel welcome back to another great video guys if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button please turn on the notification bell so when i upload a video you'll be the first to receive the content from my channel so in today's video i'm gonna do a two-part video which i'm gonna do a source of fish vlog so i'm gonna show you how i scald the source of fish and then tomorrow i am going to show you how i pick the source of fish as well so guys as you can see put the pan the fire you just catch up the fire dog so i go scald the sour sap fish right and the reason why me go put the sour sap fish on the fridge when me scald it because the cooler the fish get off a scald and it the easier for the fish the flesh can debone out the bone from out of the fish so that's my way but me scald the fish already and me pick out the bone but when I do it so like I lose more of the flesh off of the fish than what meat I me go get from the fish. Apparently water boil up so I go use some garlic and I go use some pepper in the pot. So garlic is very good to use scald out of the fish because the garlic is going help reduce the rawness of the fish, right? And we are adding one scotch bonnet pepper same time in the pot so I'm going to cover up the pot and I'm going to make it go and boil up so guys I'm going to add some lime juice in the pot as well because you know lime juice is going to help to even reduce the raw inside the fish this are the fish and this is the way how I hold him. I use my two fingers and hold him in my eye. So I'm going to add him in my pot now. See how good. We are how I hold him. And then I'm going to cover him. So guys, basically I'm going to check on the fish, so I'm going to show you how I know that the fish has been scalded. So I'm going to hold one of the, um, the bone and then just try to take it out. So that's how I know that this, the fish has been scalded guys. Okay, so I'm going to do another one so for you guys to see. So I'm just trying to gently be careful because I know the bone will juke that's it so i am going to take it off and cool it off now and then put it in the refrigerator and then pick it so i'm going to show you how i do the picking of the fish which is in tomorrow's video okay so welcome back to the two part video guys we just see i was day one so today i did two of the sour sap fish so i line up the station when i go pick him pan which are deep one in the source of fish so I just line up my little table outside with my pliers and have the fish and the cutting board so I go care how to go there and show the process of removing the bone out of the fish so this fish it depends bigger the fish it, the longer the fish take to pick so some of them can go up to even one hour maybe this one will take me even half hour or 20 minutes to pick because it's not really a big one so I'm just doing a small one for my viewers and subscribers to have an idea because a lot of person been asking me how to 
pick the sauce up fish so that's why I'm doing a clean and cook video on the sauce up fish so before further ado guys let's jump into the video as you can see these are the sauce up fish we have the pliers we have the cutting board so I'm just rest the cutting board on the towel which are the hand towel because I don't want the cutting board to slide from half of the towel so I'm going to start the process now and see my chair there so I'm going to sit down in the chair to pick the fish Gently use the pliers and pull on the bone them the sauce of fish I'm going to put on the bone on one side after I finish picking the sauce of fish either I am going to throw the bone into the fire or dispose of the bone properly because these bones are pretty dangerous as you can see so picking the sauce of fish take time because it's not like a fish that you're gonna scale or do it in a rush so you just take your time gentle and pull on the bone just like that just place them one side so this is the reason why I put back the sauce of fish into the fridge for the, the meat, the flesh to get cold because as I was explaining earlier on in the video so the cold of the meat be easier for the bone to pull out and you know really waste the meat of the fish I just shown like a minute or two minutes of the video of me picking the sauce of fish because as I said it can take time it can take up to one hour to just to pull out the bones out of the fish so I'm going to show you how I finish pick out the bone out of the sauce of fish I think you guys have an idea now of how the fish need to be dealt with before cook. So just gentle pull. Just join in the vlog. I am deboning the sour sap fish. Okay, so this is what one hour of picking of the sour sap fish look like. So basically, me done picking sour sap fish now, and this is the bone one side. So these bones are very dangerous. So if you are picking the sour sap fish outside, more than advise you guys to throw the bone in the fire. But just try to dispose these bones properly because they can be very harmful. The next step is to cut the belly of the sour sap fish and just clean out it. Just like any regular fish where you cut the belly and you clean it out. So that is the next step. Guys, so this is what the, the sour sap fish look like after cleaning but me did remember so me did have this lobster so me I go use the lobster in a hit guys no worry no sell me soon can I back on the market go do an another market video but just have to make a fast move go to the market a while ago so these are some of the things that I may get so I yeah, show you know, as usual some of the things so this are the time Mm. So for seasoning I'm going to use some scallion, garlic, pepper, some thyme, pimento seed, onion and I'm going to use one teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. I'm not going to use too much because I'm going to use some of the 
pepper, shrimp, soup, chicken noodle. So guys, these are the fish as I tell them I use the lobster and it, so I still add the lobster and it. So I'm going to add the season, which is the all purpose season. Adding the scallion, garlic, pepper, onion, thyme, and my pimento seed. Combine both ingredients. So the sour sap fish. And I have my carrot, Irish, okra, scallion. And that I will add in my pot as soon as we start to cook the fish. Curry and now and burn the curry just to get the curry mild. little bit more with the garlic to enhance its flavor in you know, the cooking oil I know the garlic have a help the, the rawness of the fish see them way too so I'm going to add in the fish now I'm going to strip out everything in the pot Instead of using water, I'm going to use the coconut milk. Right? It's a my way, as we say.
guys so now i am going to add in the vegetable so i'm going to add in carrots onion carrot potato and my okra Spices from the noodle. Too much fire under the pot. Too much fire under the pot. Too much fire. Too much fire. So I am taking out some of the fire. Too much fire under the pot, guys. Check on the pot now. So now give it one more minute. Make it dry down a little bit more and then take off it. Guys, right, so we reached to the end of the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Awesome content.